Lindelof videos, TI Inspire CX Cast, is my calculator cheating on me? One of the first things that makes me suspicious in any relationship is if all of a sudden answers come back and they're not consistent. You ask the question, you already know what the answer is, but somehow know the answer that you're given doesn't kind of mesh with what it should be. So this is something that I notice my calculator does. For example, negative 2 squared, right? Negative 2 squared should equal 4. Is my calculator lying to me? Why is, why is this happening? So I started to take this apart. You know, I asked myself the question, is it possible that my calculator thinks that I'm saying that I'm saying negative 1, I'm saying negative 1 times 2 squared. And yes, it does. So maybe my calculator's not cheating on me, but my calculator misunderstands me and needs to be asked questions in a very specific way. So, for example, if I ask the calculator what is the quantity, negative 2 squared, then I get back the answer that I expected. So that's one thing. You've got to really think about what your calculator is saying and how you're posing the questions that you're asking to your calculator because it's not very sophisticated in the way that you think. It can only iterate. It can't interpret at all. So you have to be very clear with your interpretation. Uh, the second thing that I ask my calculator every time that I get ready to do something, if I'm, especially if I'm doing trig, I say, what is cosine of 90? But cosine of 90 should be zero, shouldn't it? Because that, that's a trigonometric value that I happen to know. So I'm like, okay, you know what? What's cosine of, what's cosine of pi halves? What's cosine of, whoops, what's cosine of pi halves? Zero. So I asked my calculator what's cosine of 90 degrees. It didn't lie to me, it gave me this back. But when I saw this answer, it should have come back as a very clear numeric answer. I should have said to myself, I think I'm not asking my calculator the question in the right language. Because as you can see here, I asked this question and I'm assuming uh, degree angular values, but my calculator is currently reading radian values. And all I would have to do, right, is go to menu, sorry, go to home, go to settings, go to document settings, and there it is, radians. So all I have to do is change that and hit OK, and it would go back to degrees. So you've got to be really, really careful about that, all right? So let's go back to this just for a second. The other question I'm asking my calculator often that I'm getting weird stuff for is uh, like square roots, and it's the same thing. Say, okay, what's the square root of 4? Well, the square root of 4, if you think about it carefully, should be positive or negative 2, right? Plus or minus 2, but it's only giving me 2. So I'm like, hell, doesn't that work? Like, isn't, right? Because 2 squared, right? 2 squared is 4, right? So that's a value. And the quantity, negative 2 squared, is 4. So the square root of 4 should be plus or minus 2. However, your calculator is looking at this radical, this square root, as a function. So it's only giving you principal roots. So you have to be careful about some of the answers that you're getting back from your calculator. The other thing I want to really, really give you that will help you a ton is on rounding errors. Let's say you put in, you put in something and the answer you get, so you put in 4 minus 1.233333. Four or five, and you get back that answer. You're like, holy shit! What am I going to do with that? Because now I have to add five to that. Suppose. So what you can do is just go back to that. Right? Go back to. Whoops, sorry. Go back to this. And can you see what just happened here? It gave you a more accurate answer instead of giving you this crap answer here. So instead of you typing in two point seven six 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 seven plus whatever you're going to do, just by hitting answer just by going back highlighting this and hitting enter it gave you this more exact answer if you're taking any of the AP exams and you have this it will really really clear up your rounding errors and beyond that this answer that you're given right here is far beyond this answer that you're seeing it's just showing you this much of it because you 
chose the answer. If there are any extra values out here, the calculator is, is hiding them from you, but they are part of your calculations. So I, I kind of wanted to go through this stuff. The last thing I would talk about is when you try to solve a trigonometric function, it gives you one of those n answers. The answer is n plus whatever. That's because you have to set up an interval, and we'll talk about that later. So I want you to know that I don't think your calculator is cheating on you, but I do think that you have to be really careful and ask your calculator questions in very methodical ways. Your calculator is very OCD, and it has a very, very specific way of, of reading things and interpreting things. It is not a good interpreter. So I hope this helped. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, will you please subscribe? Thanks.